Hey everyone, Amanda with Swift Galleries, and today I'm here with another quick tip. Today we are going to learn how to sell non-wall art products during a client meeting. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go into, actually let's go into manage and let's look at our add-ons. Let's make sure that we have what we would want to sell. Let's create an add-on, um, let's do cards. And we're going to do my lab that I'm using, which is WHCC for cards. And let's make this a set of 25 grad cards. I've been working with a lot of seniors lately, so we'll do that. Um, let's just say that the max image we want is one. Notes, um, you know, you can put in here like 25 grad cards design tbd i like doing that because then it gives your client the option to look at designs later on and um, you could send them a link to that for example and then they can choose their design but at least in your sales meeting you have it so that they've ordered it and they've paid for it let's go ahead and put the cost here as 100 and our retail price is typically for most of these are right around 19 dollars. okay so let's go ahead and save that add-on and then it'll appear in your clients. So let's go to this senior client here and let's go ahead and go with, um, let's go ahead and pretend like we are actually doing a sales meeting with them. I'm going to click start meeting. Let's just for brevity's sake, um, assume that you've already gone through everything with the client and you're at the last stage of ordering here while it loads for a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna click skip wall art because in this uh, one, we are not going to be doing any wall art for this client. We are gonna be choosing add-ons. So it's really handy right here. You could just click on this button and it'll show you a drop-down menu of the add-ons that you have available. So let's go ahead and choose the set of 25 grad cards. And we're all good to go here. You can change things if need be, but in our case, we're good to go. Go ahead and click finish. And you can select the image from your client session. Let's go ahead and select this one. And maybe that's the one that's like their most favorite and that's what they want to have put on the front of the card. And then we can choose another add-on. Um, let's say we want to do a digital image here while we're at it. So let's do single digital image. We'll choose that one. Go ahead and click finish. And then you can select the image from the ones you're, you have available to your client here. So let's say they want to use this one as their digital. And there you go. You can save and go to next. skip that okay and then this is where you would fill out all of your clients information and then you have their add-ons and subtotal right there so everything is all good to go thanks for joining us today for this quick tip and we'll be back with another one soon